Today we're building this amazing animated infographic scene using PowerPoint. This scene consists of a planet with rings, like Saturn, and a moon. In addition, we'll be adding a cast shadow as you can see here. The planet's shadow is cast onto the rings. The entire scene is created using seven simple vector drawings, all combined in a single group. Let's get started. For the rings, draw three concentric hollow circles. Add a little 3D depth to the rings. Next, draw a circle that matches the size of the largest ring. Let's call this shape shadow. This is how we cast the shadow of the planet onto the rings. Now draw a circle for the planet itself. It should be aligned with the rings. Draw a much smaller circle for the moon. You can add more moons. If that makes you happy. Turn the circles for the planet and the moon into spheres. Our method of creating perfect spheres in PowerPoint does not require calculations. Choose the angle bevel for the top bevel of the circles. Set a temporary bevel height value so you can clearly see your edits. Increase the bevel width until the bevel converges to a single point. This is the amount of bevel width and height you need to create the perfect sphere. Now choose the round bevel type for the top and bottom bevels. Enter the same value for both the bevels. Use this same value for the distance from ground setting as well. You can set the fill colors of your art now, or you can do it later.
set the positions of the planet and the moon the way you like. Group everything together. Remove the outlines from all the shapes. Outlines don't look very nice on 3D formatted shapes. Now we'll work on the planet's cast shadow for the rings. Select and copy the rings in the planet. Paste them in a new blank slide twice to create two copies. One set is for the ring structure. Set this to be fully transparent. Use a half circle for the shadow art. Anchor it to the center of the planet and stretch it to cover the rings. Duplicate the shadow. You need one copy per layer of ring. For each layer, select the ring shape first, then select the shadow drawing. In the Shape Format menu, use the Intersect tool. Repeat for the rest of the ring layers. Set a dark fill color for the shadows. In the 3D model, select the shadow shape. Choose picture or texture fill. Choose clipboard as the picture source. In a future video, we'll share our technique for making a cast shadow of the moon on the planet. This creates a nice lunar eclipse effect.
for this scene, we think the flood lighting preset looks best. You can animate the rig using morph transitions. Simply set different poses on multiple slides and turn on morph. In the transition timing group, set the duration to your preferred length. Sometimes slow transitions look better. And for other scenes, fast transitions are more suitable. Keep testing until you get the best timing for your scene. You can also add labels to your 3D model. Select the model part. Right click. Click on edit text, type the label, and set its formatting. To make it appear and disappear between slides, simply change its transparency. And, we, are, done. To learn more about creating 3D illustrations and animations using PowerPoint, you can get our free downloadable 3D model files for your reference. Follow the link in the description section of this video. Please like the video if you find this sharing helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more fun PowerPoint illustration and animation ideas, tips, and tricks. Until next time, happy creating!